Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, April 22nd, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And it is time for date night with Lisa. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live. And hello everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? I hope you are well and had a great day today. It was beautiful here in Chesapeake, Virginia. We had gorgeous weather and then a little bit of rain in the last hour, well, last couple hours it started raining. Um, but I got my grass mowed and um, I think I told you guys my lawnmower broke so I had to order a new mower and uh, I'm telling you what, I went from a Pinto to a Cadillac. It was like, wow. <laughs> It's so awesome. I, I I didn't realize what I was missing when it came to mowing. I don't know why I didn't uh, get a better mower before because I thought my mower was pretty good until I got this one. And it is like night and day. I can't even believe how awesome my mower is now. But uh, And it was only like $200 more than my other mower. So, um but this one, you practically, you can, you, it's self-propelled and, and when you press the button down, you can either just like walk behind it or you can run behind it. <laughs> so <laughs> you can do it with one finger practically <laughs> and you don't even have to like do anything. My other one, you would hold the button down and it was like, you still had to push it. <laughs> even though it was self-propelled, you still had to push it almost, but the self-propelled thing broke. So I was still really pushing it <laughs> and it was wearing me out but today I mowed the whole grass and I was like oh, barely even tired I said this is awesome so uh it was great so let me say hello to everybody hey Annie hey Sharon hey Brenda hey Ida hey Nancy hey Annie hey Tony hey Diana hey Bonnie hey Spice Girl you always amaze. Hi, everyone. I'm awake. Shock. Love all the cards I've received. Spice Girl says, love all the cards she received. She told me to tell you guys that. She said, thank you for all the cards she got. She loves them. Um, hey, Cynthia. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Mel. Hey, Therese. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Deborah. Oh, three Debbies already. Oh, here's another Debbie. Four Debbies. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Faith. Hey, Pat. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Minda. Hey, Regina. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Ginger Snap. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's on here. And all the Debbies. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's another Debbie. <laughs> we have a lot. And a Stella. So, you guys have a great day today. I hope you guys had some beautiful weather. Oh, 93 in Arizona. We had 80, 85 yesterday and almost 90 on uh, Thursday. And then we had little, like a little cool front come through and it was just gorgeous today. So the card I'm making today is actually from one of my downline and my friends, Diane Eckleberry. So um, she is in my class that uh, meets every other week. And she brought me a whole pile of cards and because I told her, you know, I was just like really needing some ideas and uh, she brought me this one a while back and I just hadn't had a chance to make it. And then she brought me a whole nother pile of cards. So we're making this one today. This was hers and then um, I just changed it a teeny bit. So this is the one we're making today. And then she brought me a whole bunch of other ones. And this one I thought, oh no, this is not the one. Oh, I have it in the pile, though. So this is one of my favorite paper that I thought was really pretty um, that I wish we would be able to still get. And then this one I thought was a really cute, fun fold. And that is some pretty paper from a while back. So you open it up like that. And this one I thought was super pretty. Love it. And this one is a real fun um, fold. So you open it up like that. And it's that same paper. So you use both sides of it with the ovals. So I thought those were some really cute cards from her. So thanks, Diane. So I'm gonna put that away. So we're gonna be making this one and we're gonna be using the um, Petal Park stamp set. 
and the Regency Park paper, which is beautiful. You have all these pieces, and this is only available. I well, hopefully it's not sold out yet. I don't think. So you can still get it, I hope. I don't know. I haven't even looked lately at the list of stuff that's sold out. I know there's like 150 things sold out already, but I don't know about this. So you have the flowers on one side, and then the other side, um, if you flip it over, is, oops, like uh, generic prints and stripes and polka dots and stuff. So beautiful paper. Love it. And I'm trying to use up some of my papers. I have a stamp -a stack on Tuesday and Thursday this coming week. So I'm trying to use up a bunch of my papers that I have a ton of papers. Um, so I'm trying to come up with, I came up with two cards already. I've got two more cards to come up with. And I got a card in the mail from Vicki Kemp. And I wanted to show you this one is a really cool pop-up card. Um, she got the idea from Dawn Griffith. And um, this is a beautiful card. She is like a master watercolor or watercolor, watercolor, watercolor. -er. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> Watercoloring expert. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a word? Can you say watercolor? -er? <laughs> um, but look at how perfect that is. It almost looks like it just is paper that she cut out, but it's just so perfect. But anyway, you open it up and it has that piece, the um, oval, right on the pop-up. So it's like that inside. So I think I might have to figure out how to make this and do this on a video. And then she's got another one cut out inside, but I know I cannot watercolor like that because I am not as good at watercoloring as she is. So thank you, Vicki, for that beautiful card. I love it. And I'm going to try and copy it, but I know mine won't be as pretty as yours will be, well, as yours is. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. And don't forget, card kit for the rest of the month is this one. So, if your order is $50 or more and you use the host code, um, then you get to pick if you want the shell card kit or the flower card kit. The only difference really is the color of paper that you get in the ribbon. Um, and the little pieces here because you have to, um, emboss it yourself. So you need to have the embossing folders. Um, I mean, you don't have to use these, but you know, you can use whatever ones you have, but basically you're going to try and do it the same colors that I did. And if your order is, um, over a hundred dollars, then you also get a pack of some kind of gems that I have laying around. So all the kits from the last time have gone out and um, I've got the list to send out the email uh, right after the video. I'm going to send an email with the um, directions for that and the link to the video. So probably a lot of you guys have already gotten it. So I just have forgotten to send the email with the link. So I'll do that after the video. All right. So, oh, I've got a bunch of cards to give away tonight too. So I'll do that all at the end of the video. So let's get started. Let me read some comments real quick before we get started. Um, oh, Nicole, good morning from Australia. Not sure, but we know what you... Oh, <laughs> you're talking about my color, color -er, watercolor -er. <laughs> Um, Let's see, colorist, watercolorist. Okay, that's what we'll say, watercolorist. Let me scroll back. I think I missed a bunch of comments. What mower did I buy? Um, I got it from Lowe's and it is, oh shoot, what is the name of it? I went online and did a whole bunch of research and it is, I'll have to go look. Um, I wanna say it's a Toro, but I'm not positive, but it's black, I know it's black. And it was $549. They had it on Amazon and it was at Lowe's too. But Lowe's would get it here faster. So I wanted to get it like in three days. So Amazon was going to take a while to ship. But um, I know it was exactly 40, $549 from both places. And it is like the bomb mower. I've never mowed that easy. <laughs> 
it is like it cuts the grass like butter and i mean literally you just like it has a little thumb thing like the thing to hold it down you hold it with your thumbs the only bad thing is like after a while your thumbs kind of start got you know getting a little uh sore so you gotta take a break from that and you could just do it with one one hand but um it just pulls so nicely it's just like whoosh, crazy i mean it's the easiest mowing i've ever done i just want to throw my other mow in the trash <laughs> um and the other thing that's really nice about it is it has a hard thing on the back so it blocks like I have gumballs and everything in my yard that were always flying out from the back and this thing it's hard on the back so it catches all those things so nothing hits you like I was getting hit in the leg all the time from these gumballs flying out so that doesn't happen anymore too so it's really a great mower I'll, I'll look at the box and tell you what it is um I was browsing I'm still not uh Oklahoma is in the 50s I saw somebody posted that they got um snow yesterday I can't remember where it was but I was like what I can't believe it's still snowing somewhere in April that's crazy oh Diane's on here yep Diane we're doing your card tonight um, let's see. Good morning. Prismacolor pencil on top of that pair with the flower. Oh, Vicky's on here. Oh, Vicky's on here. So Vicky said there is a Prismacolor pencil on top of the, the pair with the flowers. Okay. Nicole says, I'm so wired. Been up most of the night. And all morning watch, not one, but two conferences online. Ugh. Thank goodness for gummy bears, chocolate, and tea. Joan says, love your laughter. It brightens my day. My husband has Parkinson's disease. Today was a bad day. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Send sunshine this way. Oh, Robin made my beautiful thistle cord. Oh, good. When you said gumballs, I had a vision of colored chewing gumballs. Oh, no, I have a gumball tree outside that I hate. And I really wish I could chop it down. But since I live on um, tidal water, there's a uh, law that says you can't cut it down because if you're within 100 feet of tidal water in this area, there's a Chesapeake Bay Preservation Act that says you can't cut down the trees because of... Uh, Erosion, like it saves the the uh, ground from being eroded. So I can't cut it down, but I might just chop off the top half of it because I hate those gumballs. All right, so what you need for this card is five and a half by eight and a half Knight of Navy, five and a quarter by four um, of the designer paper, the Regency Park, five and a quarter by four white for the inside. This little strip was left over, so I decided to go ahead and put it on the inside of the card here at the bottom right there and then um that's three quarters by four then two and a half by two and a half knight of navy and then four little squares of designer paper they're one and one eighth by one and one eighth so there's four of these i just stuck them all to the post-it note so those there's four squares there that i cut up there and i'm going to show you how to cut this into that square right there in just a minute um, oh, so Vicki says no watercolor on that. So she's Prismacolor pencils. Huh. Well, how did you get it? So, so that is just pencils. Well, it looks watercolored to me. That is crazy. That's really pretty. I never would have guessed that was not watercolored. Spice Girl says it's in the hundreds Look, in Arizona. That's too hot for April. And Vicki says it's 44 degrees. Yikes. Brenda says, what are gumballs? Ew, you have never seen a gumball? 
it's almost kind of like a pine cone, except it's a ball and it's really prickly. And if you step on it, you would uh, be in excruciating pain because it's like these little sharp points. It's like, it's shaped, it's a ball like this big and it just has little prickly things all around the whole thing. And, um, but it's kind of like a pine cone almost, but it's just shaped like a ball but it's, it's sharper little things sticking out. They're a real pain in the butt. And then when you mow over them, they just get caught up in there and just shoot out the sides. Look it up, Google it, Google gumball tree. <laughs> oh, Vicki says they're waxy, so they, they blend very good. I think we used to have some kind of watercolor pencils like that a long time ago with Stampin' Up. Some kind, oh no, they were metallic, I think, watercolor pencils long time ago I remember something like that okie doke so here's those little pieces I just kind of picked four different ones so there's those so we'll stick that to the side for a minute oh we got to cut those these two right here all right so let me show you how to cut those so get the paper cutter all right, so we've got to cut two and three quarters off from here. So for these two pieces, you're gonna cut two and three quarters off from the corner here. So from this corner over and this corner here, you wanna cut two and three quarters inches off of that. And then from this corner to here and this corner to here, you wanna cut two and three quarters inches. So you're just gonna get a ruler and make a little pencil mark and on each one, just make your little pencil mark. So I need a ruler that you can see better. So um, let me see, my two and three quarters is right here. So we're gonna mark it right there. I know you probably can't see that, but it is there and there's a little mark right there. All right, so I've got my pencil mark there and my pencil mark right here. So we're gonna cut those two. I don't know if you can see that. So it's right there and right there. I do have the piece that I cut already from this one, which is the same. <clears throat> so it's gonna be like right there. So we're just gonna cut from there to there off. And same thing over here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Now this one you can probably see better. So two and three quarters. And two and three quarters. Once you make one though, then you have your little template because you'll have it like that. So then you can just mark it, you know, with your little pencil. All right, so then we're just gonna cut that. And you know, I do my paper cutter upside down. All right, so we just need to match up those pencil marks. I know you can't see this probably because it's so light, but, and now I can't see it either, but. <laughs> I did, when I did it the first time, I did it with a, uh, a marker, but then I couldn't erase it. So I was like, oh, I better do it with a pencil next time. But I can't. Okay, so there, it's right there and right there. So then we're just gonna cut that and then you're just gonna erase it. So you can't see it. All right, so there's our first cut, and that, so that's the two and three quarters off of each corner. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So that's your template, so if you make some more, you can just mark it, or you could just cut it, you know, that way. All right, so same thing, we're gonna put this in here. So you just wanna match up that mark in your guide. And, uh-oh, where's the other? Oh, I, did I not mark this? Oh, there it is, other side. Okay, come on, Lisa. All right, so we've got that one there and that one there. And cut it. So now we got our two little corners. We're gonna erase that pencil mark. I love these little white erasers. You know, if you ever get these mechanical pencils that have the black erasers, they don't erase. I don't understand what the purpose of that is. I bought a pack of them and I realized that they don't really erase. All right, so then when you layer this, it goes perfectly 
together right there like that. So then you can put this together on top of the other piece. So we'll just glue that down. I'm not crazy about this pattern right here. So it's a good thing I like this side. I like it when they do that. If I like one side, then I, I, I always hope they put something ugly on the other side. So then you don't feel like you're wasting it. <laughs> you know, if you have two really pretty sides, then I always hate to put glue on the one side that's pretty because then you feel like, you know, dang, it's like, why do they have to put two good sides on one sheet of paper? Because then you're wasting it. All right. And uh, this one, we're going to put this piece down at the bottom. Just right there. And have you guys ever gotten those brownie bites from Sam's? I had, a, yesterday I had a um, front office meeting with my um, team at work. And so I ordered um, pizza and uh, I had gone by Sam's and picked up those brownie bites for dessert. And um, oh my gosh, they are like to die for. You put them in your mouth and they're, you know, they're only like maybe this big, but they are so moist and delicious and they just melt in your mouth. I think I could have eaten about 50 of them, but somebody told me they had 120 calories for one and I, <laughs> I said, she couldn't be serious. <laughs> I said, there's no way they could be 120 calories for one. Because they're only like one bite, <laughs> two, maybe two bites if you really stretch it. Okay, so I'm not going to glue that down just yet. I'm going to glue these down though. All right, so I want one here, this one here, and then this one, and this one. So we'll just put those together. But oh my gosh, they're so good. So... Tell me what you think of this. So we had, there was uh, 11 of us. Two girls couldn't come. So, you know, we have our meeting and I ordered three pizzas and then three cheese sticks, uh, cheese bread thing. And they have, it was Domino's. We have Domino's in the same parking lot as our um, urgent care center. And I like, Do we have a really good Domino's. And so they have this spinach and, um, what is it? Spinach and feta cheese, cheese bread. And it is so good. So I got three pizzas and then the spinach and feta cheese bread, two of them, and then the regular cheese bread. And so everybody ate and had, you know, some brownies and then there was leftovers. So, you know, I went out after we were done. I told everybody else who was in the center. I was like, there's plenty left over. You guys can go, you know, help yourselves. Well, then I had to go run back up front because I was still working, but I had somebody cover in the front while I was in the back. And um, so I, for a few of the girls stayed and, you know, stayed in the back and they were just sitting back there talking. Well, then one of the girls... She comes up and she's leaving and she has one of those cheese bread boxes in her hand and she's leaving and she's like taking a whole cheese bread home. And I'm thinking to myself, how rude? I thought that was just so rude because I knew there was like almost a whole one left and she's just taking it to go. But I thought, um, you know, you didn't pay for that food. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and... You know, I thought that's just kind of rude. You know, if you didn't pay for the food and and I went out there and told everybody else that, you know, they could just kind of help themselves to whatever was left because, you know, they hadn't eaten. And uh, then she just took like, took it upon herself to make a, a box of food and take it home for herself. I just thought that was rude. Don't you think that's kind of rude? like people you invite somebody over for dinner and they just start piling up a plate to take home you know it's okay if you say hey do you want some leftovers to take home that's one thing but if you don't invite them to then I think that's rude okay let me see love the paper combination just line up my marks on the edge of the cutter then slice the arm of the cutter down 
Yeah. Yeah, my when I do um my cutting for class, I have a guillotine one, but for just like just sitting at the table, I use the slicing the this one. Oh, Linda, you just you forgot about uh what time it was. Yeah, Debbie, it is kind of rude. I know. Agreed. Yes, they used to do that at my office, too. Well, I'm not going to say anything, you know, just because, you know, she's kind of that kind of a person, but what can you do? Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping. So I didn't want to start anything because I'm not like that. All right, so we're going to stamp the happy birthday all the way down at the bottom right here. Oops, that's a teeny bit crooked. That's okay. All right, and then we're gonna do our flowers. So I've got scrap paper. Forgot to tell you, you need scrap paper. So we're gonna do the outside of the flowers. And remember I told you that trick with the punch. So whenever you've got a punch, make sure you look at it and say, okay, so when I punch, and I'm gonna go in the paper like this. So I wanna make sure my small flower is at the top of my paper, just like this when I stamp it. So I want to make sure when I ink this up that my small flower's at the top. And then I'm going to do my petal pink right on top of that. I had to take a little bit of ink off because it was so juicy. All right, so we're just going to line this up right on top. And... There you go. And I'm pretty sure this stamp is staying in the catalog. I'm pretty sure. I hope it is because I really like it. All right, and then we're gonna do the um, leaves just out to the side on the white part. So we're just gonna kind of freehand those where we are gonna guess. Um, you would have grabbed the the brownie bites. Well, I did actually take a little bag of those home. So um, it was funny because, you know, like my group, you know, everybody had like one or two. And then the people in the back ate like half of them. And so before I left, I said, well, I'm going to go grab some before they're all gone. So I, I had a little Ziploc bag and I went and took about five to take home. And oh my gosh, I had a couple today. They were so good. All right, so I'm just going to put one like right here and then one over here. So I'm just kind of guesstimating where to put them. All right, then we're going to pop those flowers out with the punch. And then when you put it in here, it should just fit perfect. Just kind of line it up. And... Pop those out. Oops. All right, so then we gotta glue these together and we can actually go ahead and glue this down too. Yeah, there's another girl at work. We have a potluck every month for people's birthdays. Like usually on the 15th of every month, we'll have a potluck and um, I would say like three fourths of the people bring food in and there's always a couple people that don't bring food. And, uh, but there's one girl that she'll usually bring food, but it's usually like, you know, something cheap, you know, that she'll just pick up at the store. Oops. I got something on there. Piece of glue or something. Um, but then when she leaves, she'll go in there and, pick up a plate and just pile she'll eat lunch and then she'll pick a plate up and she'll just pile it on and and cover it and then take that whole plate home like for another meal i'm like are you kidding me this is crazy crazy what people do all right so we're just going to glue these together so i'm just going to put a little dab of glue right in the middle and then kind of offset this a little bit like kind of in the center 
then just hold it for a second. give it a minute. Then we're going to put another um, dab in the middle of that one. You could put dimensionals, but I think then it would be like too, too high, maybe. If you put dimensionals in there, maybe you want put one under just a little one or something. So hold that for a minute. And then we're going to kind of curl it up a little bit after it's dry. I tried curling them before, but then the, like when I glued them down, they all flattened back out. So I'm just going to kind of curl them at the end. Do any of you guys watch 911 Lone Star? <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows and I love, love Rob Lowe. I've had a crush on him since I was probably like 15 years old. I think he's about the same age as me. And he's so cute. Where do people are or people who are never happy? I know. It's amazing how people expect you to bring continue bringing in goodies and they bring nothing. I know. It's always the same people who always bring in like the best food and then like every other people bring nothing. Or they bring like a store bought like one pack of store bought cookies or something that are disgusting. Like I always bring homemade stuff. Like we have a uh, we have one this Friday at work, and um, I'm making those um, like Paula Deen ooey gooey butter bar ooey gooey butter. What are they called? Ooey gooey butter bars. But I put lemon extract in them so they become like kind of like lemon bars. They have like a little lemon, a real subtle lemon flavor to them. Okay, so now we have like a little curve to it. And then I'm just going to glue that down right there. I think they're ooey gooey butter bar or something like that. So just put that right there. You don't want to mush it. Although when you put it in an envelope, it's going to get mushed. Okay, I'll just let that sit for a minute. And then this one's going to get glued down. And just put this one right here. Just make sure you don't cover your words up. It's really pretty easy card. It does have a lot of cutting, but it's pretty easy. All right, and then we got to make a bow. So for the bow, I've got this beautiful ribbon. This is the bordered ribbon in Night of Navy. Night, I said Night of Navy. <laughs> Night of Navy. <sighs> so after I mowed the grass, oh, I had a guy come pressure wash the house today because it really needed it. It was covered like in pollen and mold and stuff from the winter. I usually get it done every year but I didn't do it last year and uh so it was like two years worth of stuff on the side of the house and uh so it really needed doing and then my deck did too and uh so I went on thumbtack yesterday because I've I've had really good luck getting people on there lately and um so I was at work last night and I just uh sent him a message and within like a minute he messaged me back and I was like well are you free this weekend he's like yeah I can do it at eight o'clock in the morning and I was like eight o'clock in the morning and I said well I'm at work right now and it was like nine o'clock I didn't get out of work till 10 and I was like well I really wasn't planning on getting up that early <laughs> and then if he was gonna pressure wash I really needed to mow first because he you know then the grass would be all wet and uh, so I got up at 7.30 and went out there. I had to put my mower together first, but really all I had to do was take it out of the box. But I couldn't, um, you had to put oil in it and I couldn't get the oil thing off. So I had to wait till he got there so he could unscrew that oil thing for me to put oil in it. So I was mowing while he was pressure washing, but I, he, let, he started in the back and I just kind of went around a couple times real fast while he was doing that. 
making my house look so pretty. It's all nice and sparkly clean. Okay, so then this goes right in the middle. And then we're going to put a gem right in the flower. So I've got the, uh, what are these called? Um, uh, 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 iridescent rhinestones, that's what they're called. And we're going to put one right in the middle of the flowers. I'm going to use the medium size one right there. Looks so pretty, and then we're gonna sprinkle it with shimmer spray. So just shake it up and give it a good squirt, and there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. So, thank you, Diane, for giving me that great idea. I love it, love it, love it when I don't have to think of one myself. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Joan says, mowing, we had snow on the ground. Where do you live? Oh, Tony says that Bravo is from Dayton, Ohio. There was a guy I worked with in the hospital at Christmas. Oh no, <laughs> Mary said there was a guy she worked with that would be bringing Russell Stover candy and he would take them home and bring back small boxes of cheap candy. Rob Lowe. Oh, no. Is the guy cute who pressure washed my house? No. He was very nice, but he was not cute. No. And his son came with him, and his son was one of those baggy pants kids. And the whole time, every time I looked at <laughs> over his, his son had like, you know, he had shorts on with sweatpants on top. But every time I looked over, his sweatpants were hanging down in his butt. I just wanted to go over there and say, pull your pants up. <laughs> When I was a teacher, I think I told you guys, you know, I used to be a high school teacher. And that, that was my biggest pet peeve is the kids that had their pants hanging down. And I just always wanted to go around and tell them to pick, pull their pants up. Okay, so I picked out some from the comments already from the uh, regular comments. No green grass to cut. Man, my grass is growing so fast, I can't even keep up with it. Yeah, I got mooned. Roblo is so good looking. I'm telling you, I've had a crush on him for like 40 years. What? Linda says, I don't have any Stampin' Up! ribbon. Uh, oh, Deb Debbie says, I've fallen in love with Shimmer Spray. I can't live without Shimmer Spray. Let's see. I don't even know who Rob Lowe is. What? Vicky says, I don't know who Rob Lowe is. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Crazy. Um, yes. Yeah, if I just have one flower, yeah, I do put it on a sponge sometimes or a pad and just press in the middle. Rob Lowe is 59. I knew he was about the same age as me, so he's a couple years older. Okay, all right, so a couple of um, cards. I have already picked winners. So this one is Bobette Grover. So you win this one that I made with the new daisy paper. So congratulations, Bobette, if you're watching. This one is Barbara Perfect. I don't know if that's really your name or if that's just your name on the comments, but I think it's kind of funny <laughs> if it really is your name. Um, the winner for this card is, oh, I didn't show that card, did I? This is that card. This one is Denise Gardner. That was one of those um, texture sheet card kits. And this one is Kathy Zaramba. And these I'm going to give away now. So let me get my posty notes. So if you got your name on these, make sure you send me an email, stampgirl2 at cox.net. I'll leave that right there. All right, so for this one, the winner is, let me scroll back and pick somebody. Let me see if I can find somebody on here that has not won lately. Let's see, here's one. Let's see. 
Mary Sarah Brady. I don't think I've ever seen your name before. Are you new on here? We have got a card for you, Maris, Mary Sarah Brady. You win this card. She says, I would have grabbed the brownie brights. <laughs> Girl after my own heart. Um, oh, Sherry is watching the big game on T on the big screen. Let's see. Josephine Zolo. You get this card, which is the other card Diane made that I made. This is another one of Diane's cards from the other day that I did. So Josephine, you get this one. And let's see, who else have we got? Um, let's see, we've got Rosie Prouty. I don't think I've ever done you before. So you win this one. So make sure you guys send me your name. This was a card somebody else won and they never claimed it. So I put it back in the drawing and so is this one. And one more, let me see. Who is on here who has not won? Let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Heidi Hooker. I don't think Heidi Hooker's ever won because I don't recognize that name either. All right, Heidi, we have got Heidi Hooker. So congratulations, ladies. You guys have all won cards today. So make sure you send me an email at stampgirl2 at cox.net and I will put your cards in the mail um, on Monday because there's no mail tomorrow. All right, so thank you so much for joining me tonight for Date Night with Lisa. This was a short video tonight, only 42 minutes. Um, I'll be back on Tuesday. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but hopefully something exciting. Maybe I'll try and do Vicky's card. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, gosh, I have a joke for you guys. I almost forgot. Hold on. Let me tell the joke. You ready? This is a sex joke. This is kind of funny. All right, a couple, both age 78, went to a sex therapist's office. The doctor asked, what can I do for you? The man said, will you watch us have sex? The doctor looked puzzled, but agreed. When the couple finished, the doctor said, well, there's nothing wrong with the way you're having sex and charged them $50. This happened several weeks in a row. The couple would make an appointment, have sex with no problems, pay the doctor, then leave. Finally, the doctor asked, just exactly what are you trying to find out? We're not trying to find out, find out anything, the husband replied. She's married and we can't go to her house. I'm married and we can't go to my house. The Holiday Inn charges $90. The Hilton charges $108. But we can do it here for $50 and I get $43 back from Medicare. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> uh, you guys are hysterical. <laughs> I don't know why I just love the sex jokes because <laughs> they're always so, so funny. I just never see the punchline coming for those. <laughs> All right. So I hope you liked that one and got a little giggle out of it. And I hope you liked the video. And, um, oh, Hilda says she's never won. All right. I'll have to put your name down, Hilda. And if you have never won, put your name down on here too, so I can put your name on a piece on a post-it. Um. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me, you guys, and I will be back on Tuesday for another video. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.